So I wanted to show you guys the Nephorus MEAs that we have, which is the uh, rough knobtail geckos. We actually have the um, Levis also, the smooth knobtail gecko, uh, the wheeler eye, the banded knobtail gecko, and um, I believe they changed its name to Nephorus Millie now, but it used to be Underwoodosaurus Millie. So we have pairs of all the different, well, all the commonly kept uh, Nephorus that are available right now in the pet industry. So, well, at least up here in Canada, I know there's um, a couple others that are a little bit more um, easier to find in the States, but in Canada, this is pretty much all there is up here. Um, obviously, you know, there's a couple of people dealing with the rare uh, Nephorus. Um, I'm drawing a blank now on the name of uh, one of them, but basically they look very similar to the rough knobtail geckos, but they're actually gray with a little bit of white. They're very nice. Anyways, um, enough rambling. Let's take a little look at the female over here. Now, for you guys who maybe only keep leopard geckos, uh, the thing that will pop right away is the fact that we have these guys on sand. <clears throat> Now these guys actually prefer living on sand to anything else basically. Uh, they're really good at burrowing if you give them enough sand to burrow. Obviously here, you know, I only have a little bit of sand, maybe half an inch. Um, these are temporary cages by the way. Ideally you want something a little bit bigger than this. Right now they're in uh, 12 by 12s and they're 18 high but that's only because uh, they're the only cages we have available for them right now. We just moved into this room. Uh, we moved all the geckos in here. So uh, right now, we just have them in temporary setups until we get something larger. And we'll actually pair these guys together pretty soon. This is the female, and then right beside is the male. Um, what's interesting in the Nephorus genus uh, is that often the females are a lot bigger than the males. So that's kind of cool. You know, leopard geckos, typically your males are going to be bigger than the females. But it's the contrary in uh, knobtails usually. But uh, these guys are pretty much the biggest of the genus. Um, this female is about, I would say, four and a half, uh, four and a half inches maybe, and the male is probably three and three quarter inches long. Um, snout to vent length. Then again, they don't really have much of a tail. So, um, but anyways, I really like these guys. They're really cool. They're actually super easy to keep. Uh, one thing though is that I find they prefer insects um, a lot more than worms. Actually, all of our uh, Nephorus pretty much have no interest whatsoever in worms. So we have to feed all these guys crickets, at least for the time being. Maybe later on, they'll eat some, uh, some, uh, some worms for us. So, these guys are also known as the bulldogs of the gecko world. Um, Let's see if I could get her to demonstrate that for us. Hopefully I don't take a bite. She's actually pretty calm. But you can see her wagging her tail now. She's really not happy. She's actually not making any noise though. But these guys obviously do not like to be handled. Um, the Levis and the uh, Wheeler Eye are a lot more tolerant of handling than these guys but you can see even she's not that bad so basically how you take care of these guys is um, basically they require the same temperatures as leopard geckos you know hot spot of around 90 uh, the rest of the cage could be between I would say 78 and 85 ambient and um, they live on sand like I said before water bowl is there but honestly it's very rare that they'll actually drink from a water bowl. What you usually have to do with uh, the knobtail geckos is spray down the sand. Um, spray one half of the cage down, maybe once every three days, and they'll actually lick up the water that's on the sand. So, really easy to take care of these guys. Video is running a bit long now. Let's see if I could show you guys what I mean about these guys being the bulldogs of the gecko world. The male typically will get pissed off quite quick. Oh, there he is. You can see he's growling a little bit. But these guys are honestly pretty tame for what they are. 
typically they'll start doing push-ups and everything too and there you go you can see he's lifting himself up on his legs his mouth gaping a little bit not too happy but those are our nephorous amiyes rough knob tail geckos that we're working with here at Safari Reptiles and you can see the male is a lot easier to annoy than the female but really awesome geckos they have just incredibly cool looking faces really really pretty animals um, there's a couple morphs out there well a couple I know of at least one which is the hypo um, amies very very nice usually a lot redder than these guys but um, we hope to have babies in the coming future they're supposed to be a little bit more difficult to breed than the wheeler eye wheeler eye we had a lot of success with and uh, we'll also hopefully have some levis babies and some mealy babies also all right guys hope you enjoyed the video take care